the Satyaratna Kritis and Navavarna Kritis of Uthikad Venkata Kavi are among the most brilliant creations in Carnatic music. They are two different sets of Kritis, quite contrasting in their themes as well as approach. In the Satyaratna compositions, the focus is on the musical form, which is the Pallavi, Anupallavi, followed by Charanams that can be rendered as Swarams and Sahityams. The form can also be seen in Tyagaraja's Pancharatna Kritis. Both these type of compositions demand a lot of diligence in terms of Sahitya Shuddham, Swaragnanam, as well as rhythmic tightness. So when students learn these pieces, they have to show attention to the way in which the Swaras are composed and the corresponding Sahityam. Many times accents for both may vary. So one has to be very careful in rendering the Swaras and Sahityams in this Swaras, uh, in the Swara Sahityam part. <laughs> So a student needs to be also very aware of both Tamil and Sanskrit because Vekatakavi has composed six of these seven compositions in Sanskrit and one of them in Tamil. And the unique feature of the Tamil composition is it's probably the only composition in Carnatic literature that mentions each one of the 63 Nayanmars by name. And the theme of the other six are also very interesting. Bhajanamrita Paramananda in Nate is a salutation to all the great devotees and legends. And Venkatakavi is very, very brilliant in not only mentioning mythological personalities, but also historic personalities like some of the Arvas, Nayanmars, Arunagirinadar, Purandara Dasa, Tulasi Dasa and so forth, which gives a clue to his own time period. In Aganita Mahima in Gaula is on Vishnu and the third piece Madhava Hridi in Kalyani is on Radha. The fourth one is Balasarasa Murali in Kiravani, which is on Krishna. The fifth one Jatadara Shankara Deva Deva in Todi is on Shiva. The sixth one was the one on the 63 Nayanmars based on Periya Puranam. And the final one is a devotional piece in which he offers various puja things like Argyam, Padyam, Tambulam, Dupam, Deepam, etc. to Lord Krishna in each one of the Charanams. So these compositions can enhance the musicianship, the cultural awareness, mythological awareness, as well as a host of other things in any student at any level.